and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Would you say this after me, friends? My adorable Jesus, My adorable Jesus. May, our may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together, pray together. To, gain to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. I brought with me the relic of the true cross. And I'm so, um, we're so blessed to have the relic with us tonight. And I, I'll tell you why, it's kind of humorous. But a year ago, I lost my relic. I've had it for a long time. And of course, I use it, especially for exorcisms, but for healing. And it protects me at night. I shared a story um, in Hungary just a few days ago. It's probably on the YouTube, but the time the devil appeared to me physically and threatened to kill me. And I blessed him with this very cross. And he disappeared when I did that. This is a very holy cross, and I went to bed one night last year, and when I woke up in the morning, my cross was missing, and I couldn't find it. And, you know, every, every now and then you will, like, lose it under the, the blanket or maybe fall on the floor. So I got down and looked for it. I couldn't find it. I said, well, maybe I'm too attached to it. Maybe God's trying to teach me a lesson. Don't even be attached to holy things. Only be attached to God. Don't be attached to holy things. Even like your most beautiful icon, don't. Be attached only to God. Amen? Amen. So I thought, well, maybe God's teaching me not to be so attached to it. I said, okay, Lord, it's yours. So I had to get up and pack my suitcase and go. I was driving, flying somewhere that day. And, you know, I couldn't find it. I got back home a week or two later and I looked again. I couldn't find it. I go on my next trip without my cross, and it's, it's like a little protection for me when I travel. You try traveling with your clericals on in airports around the world. You're a target, let me tell you right now. It's amazing I'm still standing up, to be honest with you. I was just in Amsterdam two days ago. Woo, they don't like priests in Amsterdam. The, the looks could kill you, you know what I mean? So this is like my special protection, it was gone. Third trip home, not there. Then I got a call on WhatsApp. It was a text message. And sister asked me, one of the nuns in Central America, she used to be part of my healing team when I was there. She said, Father Jim, why didn't you tell us you were here in Belize last night? And I said, well, sister, because I wasn't. He says, no, Jose was dying last night, supposed to be dead by midnight. Remember, you baptized him, she told me on the text. You baptized him. Now he's 16. You came into his hospital room with your cross, and you touched him. He told us. Then you went out and spoke to the doctors. They told us, too. Father, he's completely healed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Mama Mia. <laughs> what kind of great God do we serve? Isn't he awesome? I thought, wow, if that's what happens when you lose your cross, let's lose it again. <laughs> Amen. So I noticed Sooner said that a few weeks later, then someone else came up to me. She's from Africa. 
She said, Father Jim, my family saw you in Africa last week. Thank you, she said, for helping them. <laughs> Man, do I have frequent flyer mouths. <laughs> FFM. Hallelujah. Yeah. They kept seeing me all over the place with my cross. I said, well, it's worth it, isn't it? It's worth it. Let's let it go. And then just a week ago, it's been gone for a year. I'm packing up my bags to get ready for Hungary. I was in Budapest and I'm packing up last minute and my toe hits something under my bed on the other side. Huh. Oh, well, I'll get whatever that is. I'm, it was my cross. Now, how it got there, I have no idea, except maybe my guardian angel put it there. Now, it's under my bed on the other side, but I never saw it before. So I picked it up and brought it with me to Hungary. And I brought it here for you. Amen. Amen.